on this episode of New England Living. This is sizable. This is where she does her puppy yoga. Yes. Is this the downward dog? Is this what sold you? Tell me. This definitely this sold it. Wow, look at this. Welcome to your second home. This is not a bad office. Not bad, not bad at all. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture, and design. I also love to travel, meet new people, and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region, showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef, and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly, and this is New England Living. New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf, and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Today I'm on my way to the South Boston waterfront, specifically to the booming section known as the Seaport District, right on historic Boston Harbor. Over the past couple of decades, this once nearly vacant area of the city, with a handful of buildings, abandoned warehouses, and parking lots, has transformed into a vibrant neighborhood of art galleries, design leaders, startups, research-based companies, restaurants, and much, much more. Dubbed the Innovation District with a modern style and cutting-edge attitude, the seaport continues to burgeon. The many construction vehicles, cranes, and hard hats make this clearly evident. I'm on my way to meet homeowners Mike and Paul in their 3,000 square foot modern single family home. Mike is originally from the Midwest and Paul is from the South Shore of Boston. They are both pharmaceutical executives. The couple moved to the home a year ago. After living in condos for 15 years, they desperately wanted a more suburban lifestyle with an in-city locale. Bottom line, they really wanted their own home which isn't an easy feat to find in this area of high-rise condos. But they did it and couldn't be happier. Being in the heart of all the city has to offer is great. We're going to meet the homeowners, check out their home and this part of the city, and then Mike and Paul are going to turn their kitchen over to the executive chef of Illegal Seafoods, and he and I are going to cook up a rooftop party and celebrate New England living in the Seaport District. Hi! Hi. Oh, hi! You must be Paul. Hi, hi. Mike. Hi. And this must be the fur baby. Oh, it's Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Wow, look at this island. Wow, this is sizable. Lots of, yes. lots of eating and some good beverages served here. Yes, this is great. Oh, the chef and I are going to have a ball cooking in here. Wow, this is a great kitchen. Oh, and you have a little deck out here too? We do. Some herbs growing out here for... Your oh, for your kitchen? kitchen? Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Mike and Paul have been together for 10 years. They met in Boston, but started dating in Paris, France while working on the same project. Yeah, that's a picture from uh, Paris. And married two years ago in Laguna Beach. A lot of the art in the home reflects these special dates and memories. Paul did all of the interior design in the home. He describes his style as comfortable, modern minimalist, with clean lines and a pop of color here and there. Very, very nice and clean. <laughs> yeah, we try to keep it nice and, and open, comfortable. Um, after 15 years of living in condos, yes. for us it was important to kind of have that homey suburban feel okay. in the city. Is it unique to be able to have a home and the Seaport District that's freestanding? It's it's pretty rare to have single family homes. There's not too many of them around. It was tough to find. Yeah. yeah. Really nice to have the, the peace and quiet and... It is nice and really quiet in here. You don't feel like you're in the city. Right. You know. Yep, and all the different pillows. Yeah, really nice. Ellie's favorite, that's her. Oh, is that her pillow? <laughs> <laughs> now what kind of a dog is she? She's a Maltese Shih Tzu mix. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful, huh? No shedding. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Take you to the second level. So we wanted to have a nice, comfortable oh. bathroom for our guests. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love the shower curtain, too. Really nice with the dots. So here's our master suite. Oh, this is nice. This is nice size. Oh, and you have a deck. 
Oh, it. look at oh, that's nice a rain model. shower. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice. Great. Isn't that nice? Well, I have to stop here though. Wait, this is cool. Oh, so before I entered the pharma industry, I really wanted to be a pilot. So this, I, I kind of have, a, have an obsession with aircrafts. So really? Kind of there are quite a few planes around the house. <laughs> oh, okay, good. So here's our guest bedroom. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I love the blinds. That's really key. Very nice. This color is really pretty too. The, uh, your Thank walls. You. Oh, oh, this is this the baby girl's this, room. This is his office. office <laughs> I tend to work from home when I'm not traveling, so this is a nice peaceful office for that work. Tucked away in a quiet corner of the home, the yoga studio. Just enough space to relax and restore. Aha, namaste. Yes, definitely a place we can get some peace and quiet in the city after some crazy weeks at work. And this is where she does her puppy yoga. Yes, is this the downward dog? <laughs> is that the downward dog? The last part of our tour was perhaps the best. Four floors up to the roof deck. Is this what sold you? Tell me. This definitely this sold it. Wow, look at this. Oh my. Wow, what a view. And now where's the sunset? So the sunset's this sunset's way, which right is- right over the city. Oh, yep. right over the city, isn't that pretty? So it's nice to be able to have a, a large area where we can have different seating areas, mm -hmm. lounge area, and then be able to have dinner out here as well. Oh, that's great. Wow, look at that. And I love the lights. It looks really pretty at night. I bet. The soft lighting. Gorgeous, I would live up here. This just feels like your own paradise. This is completely- It's an oasis in, in you know, the city. Urban oasis. Yes. Welcome to your second home. It's a difficult place to work, isn't it? Yeah, it's it overlooks terrible. the Boston Harbor. It's fantastic. Clark, New England's official Sub Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen, offers three reasons to begin your project here explore the world's finest appliances, then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Technology is becoming a must have for most areas of our homes. So it's important to get familiar with what your options are. Add a touchless kitchen faucet as an affordable solution to help you get on track. Consult with a Kohler specialist to explore all the possibilities to make your home work for you. This tip is brought to you by Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. With eight generations of exquisite craftsmanship, Kumar brings a whole new meaning to passion and precision. Their treasures come from remote corners of the earth, traveling across many oceans. The Kubi family brings to the United States the largest selection of exotic stones. Kumar, when only the finest will do. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting edge features and top notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. The Boston Design Center, also known as the BDC, is located in the Innovation and Design Building and is the epicenter of design in New England, featuring more than 350,000 square feet of home and contract showrooms with more than 1,200 unique luxury product lines. The BDC represents the very best from all over the world and right here at home. I had a chance to tour the BDC with the general manager and talk about this eight-story, one-stop design destination. 
First of all, I don't know how you can stand being here and not want to take beautiful. everything home. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You can pretty much find anything your heart desires. Some people think that it's just for designers. It's one of those myths that we're trying so hard to dispel. The design center is open to the public. Anyone can come in. Um, and it, it's such a unique gem in the seaport that I think has been overlooked by a lot of people, but it has so much to offer. Right, exactly. Well, you know, the design is, is such a crucial part of our show, mm -hmm. and uh, people are always inspired. So I would imagine that you're inspired. Daily? Daily. Hourly? Yes. yes. I mean, everything is just, just it's a feast for the eyes. It is. And it, you, you walk through the, the design center, you get so many visions on what you can put into your house. Mm -hmm. The showroom managers are there to help. The designers can shop here. The public can walk through and see you know, great inspirations. There's so many opportunities here. Talk to me about all the things that you have here. Sure. I'm looking, we're surrounded by fabric. So fabric. Furniture, wallpaper, um, kitchen and bath, tile, carpet. Now you were here before the seaport explosion, really. Yes, yes. So uh, you, you think you sort of set the precedent, for, well, would you say, for we, innovation and design? We here? hope to, <laughs> and we hope we, you know, we still do. So we're going to go into Philip Jeffries. Um, Philip Jeffries' wall covering is probably one of the top in the industry. This one in particular, it looks like it's all hand cut, and it's wall covering. So we are in the Design Within Reach showroom. This particular brand, I think, does an exemplary job of combining residential and corporate. So this is the Janice at Sea showroom. I, it's one of my favorites, just the design. So Janice at Sea's uh, furniture, again, top of the line outdoor furniture. Look at that, I mean, how comfortable and fun is that? I love it. A block from the BDC is Seven Tide a design adventure featuring the most trusted top-tier brands, a personal, one-of-a-kind experience for architects, designers, and homeowners. After the BDC, I met Mike and Paul at one of Mike's favorite seaport stops, Harpoon Brewery. Harpoon has been brewing on the Boston waterfront for more than 30 years. Founded by two beer-loving guys, not brewmasters, who wanted to make the kind of beer they craved and have visitors come and enjoy it. We headed up to the beer hall for a pint a pretzel and some conversation with Chris, who not only works for Harpoon, but believes in the beer almost as much as Mike. So this is the Bandita. It's a pineapple habanero IPA, about 7.5%. This is Citrusy, which is a pale ale, citrus hops, which kind of have a fruity aroma and grapefruit peel from both. And then you're having Camp Wanna Mango, Harpoon Summer Seasonal, a nice hop aroma, also some nice mango, great sort of fruity aroma and drink. And I'm having an oatmeal pill. Yes, well, cheers. Cheers. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to your second home. So our tasting room, which is on the other side of the building, that's the only place that's been serving the same purpose since we started in 1986. Everything else has changed a little bit, but we would have people come in, and it would be an hour tasting on a Saturday, and it was basically come in, and then they had to go. And so didn't necessarily feel that welcoming. It felt like we were kind of forcing people out at the end. And the ability to have people come, just sit and have a pint, and spend time without TVs or without other things. Just have some beer, hang out, and talk for a little bit. After our brief beer tasting, we headed down to the Lawn on D, an innovative event space, a dynamic and fun grassy spot to enjoy music, lawn games, and more. We visited it on a weekday, and it was pretty mellow. But on the weekends, Mike and Paul say it's hopping. We had to try out the swings that apparently glow at night. This is not a bad office. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, when you're in New England, you think of lobster roll, yeah. right? But when you look at it, it's a little different than a lobster roll. <laughs> now, are these recipes that you do uh, at Legal, or are we making it up just for tonight? We're going to make it up for tonight. Nice. It has been said cooking is like love. It should be entered into with abandon or not at all. And if you're looking to design the kitchen to create that love, there's no place more passionate about cooking than Clark. And here with us is Sean Clark to learn more about their newest innovative design destination. Hi, Sean. Hi, Erica, and welcome to Clark. This is our newest showroom and test kitchen for Sub-Zero and Wolf, located at 7 Tide Street in Boston Seaport. So for homeowners and the design community, what can they expect here? 
They can expect an unparalleled experience because we don't sell anything here. There's no cash register. So the idea is to give you design inspiration with life-size kitchens and the opportunity to test drive all of our appliances. And there's innovation at every corner. What is this area? So this is our media lounge where your architect or designer can project your kitchen plan to scale and then steps away, the products come to life in one of our working kitchens. Wow, this really helps to envision how these products are actually going to look in your own kitchen. That's the goal. And as you can see here with Sub-Zero, you have the opportunity to customize your refrigerator, your freezer, and your wine storage to specifically fit your lifestyle. Plus, you can test drive Wolf's newest technology. Test driving these appliances is really the only way to make the right selections. And then we take you from test drive to tasting. And this is my favorite part. With our small bites, you'll leave here with a taste of what's possible in your kitchen and the name of an authorized dealer. Try one. This looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Mm-hmm. Clark at Seven Tide is truly a revolutionary experience in kitchen design. If you are looking for kitchen inspiration, visit ClarkLiving.com to find out more. Rose Wharf Water Transport provides passenger water transportation throughout Boston Harbor, including exclusive water taxi service between Rose Wharf, Boston Harbor Hotel, and Logan International Airport. For the last 25 years before the seaport was the bustling place it is now, this company has been providing this service, and they are the only ones who get you going on demand or with reservations. Private charters, harbor tours, you name it. Captain Jim Wall picked me up so I could see the seaport from the sea. This is not a bad office. Not bad, not bad at all. What do you think about the seaport and all the growth? This is fantastic. I grew up in Boston and it didn't look like this when I, I grew up. It was a lot of wooden uh, warehouses and a lot of uh, broken down piers. And uh, not a really great place to go, if you know what I mean. What a place to be. The seaport is the destination. Sure. Boston Harbor is the destination. You're Absolutely. a Boston guy. I'm a Bostoner. Yep. Captain Jim Wall from uh, Rosewood Water Transport. That's right. You're going to take me over now to go see the chef over at Legal. Let's do it. Let's I think I'll enjoy it. the ride for the rest sure. of the time. Thank you, Captain. And after a nice tour of the harbor, Captain Jim dropped me off with perfect precision at Liberty Wharf. Talk about service. This is where I was meeting Legal Seafood's executive chef, Rich Volante. He invited me to Legal Harborside to meet before the night's party. Little did I know upon my arrival, Rich had made sure I was well taken care of with a signature sunshine sangria and a lobster tempura sushi roll. A creative twist on the traditional lobster rolls served at most seaside locations. We took a minute to chat about his career and the success of Legal on their rooftop deck of their flagship location. How lucky am I to come on to the promenade, the rooftop deck with uh, Rich Volante. He is the executive chef here at Legal Harbor Side. Yeah, it's a difficult place to work, isn't it? Yeah, it's it overlooks terrible. the Boston Harbor. It's fantastic. Yeah. So it's a really unique place. Yeah, the it fish is. pier behind us? We do. This is the oldest working fish pier in the country. Yeah. And that's where we buy some of our fish. And our, our processing plant and our corporate offices are right next door. So it's all in one compact area. Now I know you have many restaurants. How many are you at now? We're at 35 restaurants. 35 restaurants. Yes. But this is a really unique restaurant. It's really three restaurants in one at Legal Harbor Side. And so the first floor is much, very much like a galley of a ship. It was, that was the inspiration for building this restaurant. The second floor is really the, the captain's quarters. It's a little bit more regal and celebratory. Mm -hmm. And today we're on the roof deck, and that's the promenade deck. Yeah. Over the years, I worked in New York and Boston, and I ended up here at Legal Seafoods because I was really excited about a family-run, family-owned company. And even though it's large, it still is a family-run. Yeah. And that, that has that, that feel. feel. It's really interesting. That's so, hard to cultivate and hard to continue. Well, I attribute it to the Berkowitz family, Roger Berkowitz, and he has really spearheaded this. The way that Legal's does it, it's a closed system, so we buy whole fish. You can tell fresh fish by its eyes, its gills, the whole body. A lot of restaurants and a lot of places just buy fillets. More difficult to tell. We process it, and when I say it's a closed system, it's sent to all 35 of our restaurants. We handle it, 
we prepare it, and we send that fish to our restaurants. What's behind us that we're gonna try? <laughs> well, so when you're in New England, you think of lobster roll, yeah. right? But when you look at it, it's a little different than a lobster roll. We serve sushi here on the, on the roof deck. And so this is our take on a lobster roll. It has lobster, avocado, uh, a little tobiko. Oh, and obviously I love tobiko. We, we put a little twist on it, we show the, the lobster, so it looks like a lobster. I it's love it. It's a big mouthful, but delicious. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Love it. This is really the, the piece part of the stone. Yes, exactly. You don't serve this at the restaurant? Mm -hmm, you should. We will. Mm -hmm, we will. You like it? <laughs> I do. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Olive oil. Mm. Smoky. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. Not too heavy on anything. It's perfect. Light. Mm. Okay, it's scallops. Yes. Ceviche. Ceviche. So the interesting thing with, with ceviche is I think there's a little misnomer. People feel like the lime juice is what's cooking, and it can cook the ceviche, but the reality is the purest ceviche is done by salting. So you salt the scallops, or you salt the fish that you're going to be using, and that cures it. Cut up these scallops into bite-sized pieces. Okay. It's kind of a quarter. Or... Yeah, just a bite size. So essentially, that's what I did right here. And this already has the salt on it. Already was salted. Um, and so how long do you let that sit where it starts to? You can let it sit for about 30 minutes. Okay. So why don't we start with a, um, a little bit of that lime juice. I squeeze some lime juice, okay. fresh. I'm going to add in some of the ahi pepper. Now, where can you find that? Is that at a regular grocery store, or do you have to have a no. specialty shop? Usually a specialty shop. And I'll add a little bit of onion. I want to add a little bit of pepper. Now you can use regular green pepper, you can use jalapenos, you can use serranos. So we'll add this to our scallops. And see that beautiful yellow? Oh, yeah. It's almost like saffron in it. Mm -hmm. This permeates into it. I'm gonna put a little spritz of oil. Okay. That looks so pretty in that shell. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Crunchy, fresh, mm -hmm. light, clean protein. Mm. Taste of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, keep Still going. Heat. Keep going. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That little plantain on yeah, the top, a which nice is a little plantain. bit of a little bit of sweetness right. underneath that. Delicious. Okay, so while the chef and the rest of the crew are getting the rest of the dinner ready, I am privileged to say that I'm here with Sandy Block, and he is a master of wine, one of the many talented people here at Legal Seafoods. He has uh, uh, picked out a champagne for the pastor d'oeuvres. This is a Brut Non Vintage Champagne. So this one's aged for about three years. Inside the bottle, there are uh, t six atmospheres of pressure, so as much pressure as there is in your car tire. So it's you got to be careful opening a bottle of right. champagne. Just let it ease out like that. Yeah. You don't want a large pop, and it doesn't foam over. Right. right now, the celebratory part, people think you know half the bottle should be gone, spilling over the edges. But, no, no. But really, you don't want to no, do that. No, no. Not with a nice champagne. That's a myth uh, propelled by the champagne companies that they want to sell more champagne. Oh, there you go. Now you have to buy two bottles. Right. And so, what should I be looking for in this and when I'm when I'm tasting it? What should I be What should I be thinking about? You should be thinking about um, whether you like the way it tastes. <laughs> Cheers. You like it? <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is something that everybody loves. It's one of the most versatile wines I've ever seen. It's called Moscato d'Asti Nivole. We're going to be pairing it up with desserts, and it goes beautifully with dessert or as dessert. But it can also work extremely well as an aperitif. This is good for brunch, good for breakfast, uh, anytime you want to have this. So, cheers. It's so funny. As the sun sets here in the Seaport District and we are on a beautiful roof deck, we celebrate great friends, a beautiful couple, a beautiful home, delicious food, just a beautiful night from Seaport. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. Cheers.